Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm just going to talk today about a few problems I've been having with my resin printer and how I fix them. Um, I was getting some lines, um, some layer lines. Um, that's what I saw. Look, they looked a bit like layer lines on my prints, which hadn't happened before. And I was having a lot of my um, my supports breaking, and some of them where the, uh, the whole object was, wasn't falling off the build plate because the base of the model was still on the build plate, but the supports had all snapped and the, and the model had fallen down. Um, so I found out what the fix was. So watch the video and find out what I did to fix it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed and liked, please subscribe and like. Um, I really need some subscribers at the moment. And if it did help you out in any way, um, I do have a Buy Me A Coffee link down below so you can just you know, give us a couple of bucks for resin and, and filament. Um, and if you do decide you want to buy a printer or anything off um, Creality or Sunlu, I do have affiliate links down below. So basically, um, you get it at the same price, but I get a little bit back as a, a bit of a commission, and it helps with the channel. Everything I, I earn through the channel goes back into the channel, um, whether it be buying resin or buying filament or buying another printer. Okay, guys, watch along, and I hope it helps. Okay, so here my resin area, um, that's my washer, these are my two helot margins, that's the normal one and this is the pro. Now the problem I was having was, um, I'll just show you where they were. So if you have a look, oh, let me get a better spot. Oops. Okay, where the plate is, there's some screws right at the back here that hold the plate in place. So if you have a look, see those two screws there? So there's one on each side, and if they come loose, you've got the plate will vibrate. So the plate, as it is now, doesn't move at all. It moves the whole machine. But mine was wiggling just a little bit, and those four screws were loose. So when I tighten those screws up, it fixed all my problems. Now I had the problem on both machines. So here's my, my normal marge. And... You'll see the same, exactly the same setup. They've got two bolts there, two bolts there. So I also checked all the bolts around the side and all these bolts down the um, down the axis, holding the axis onto the onto the, um, the print backing. And these ones holding the plates on, all the four on there. So there's a two at the top and two down the bottom, and two at the top, two down the bottom on that side. So I checked all them, and uh, these were the only four that were loose, the two at the back there. So they're the only four that were loose. So I checked them all just to be safe. And once I tightened them all up, all my problems went. Because I started to have problems where um, you can see that how I can see here that all my supports are working. Now before I could look in, I looked in there and half of them would be broken off and I'd be going, why is it not sticking? So a few things I tried is I emptied the vat and I checked the... Um, the FEP or the plastic um, or silicon bit that sits on the bottom of the FEP that flexes up and down. I checked that that was tight. I even replaced it on one of them. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I, I changed all the settings in my slicer. I did. I was just I lost to what 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 was going on. I changed the um, resin too. I tried a different brand of resin. Now all the same. So it ended up being those bolts. And once I tightened those bolts up, everything went. Uh, went good, I should say. <laughs> okay, this is my Tomb Raider model. And if you have, look up the head here. See how you can see those lines down the side of the face if you really look hard. I mean, they're easy to fix, but I don't want them. See how you can see those lines? They're all from the bed or the FEP moving when it shouldn't be moving. It shouldn't have those lines at all. It should be dead straight. So once I saw that on a big model, because this is, you can see my hand, it's a big model. Okay, so it's a full size. I posted online for those that haven't seen in the um, Creality forums and in Facebook groups. I posted all my models. But you can see this one's got those problems. It shouldn't have them. It should be dead straight like you can see in this part of the face, how that's all straight. Or it should be all straight down the sides here too. So. It wasn't just the model that wasn't working, or that was having lines in it. I was having all sorts of problems with supports breaking and all that sort of stuff. Well, that 
that's all been fixed since I um, fixed up the or tightened up those bolts on the on the side of the the resin printer. So if your plate's moving at all, it's, it's like um, when people have a problem with a FDM printer or a, a filament printer, they say tighten the belts, make sure the belts are tight, make sure the screws are tight. No different. Um, but you haven't got belts on a resin printer, so those two bolts holding the or the build plate in place, very important that they're tight. So hope that helped guys. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.